Welcome back to Joe Stoner Boxing. Uh, Artem Delakien defends his WBA um, flyweight title, uh, a successful sixth defense against De uh, David Jimenez of Costa Rica. Um, Delakian is from Ru uh, Russia. No, what am I talking about? Delakian's from um, Ukraine, not right. I was going to say Russia. Oops. <laughs> no, it's Ukraine. Uh, he's 20, now he's got uh, 22 wins, 15 by knockout, no defeats, no draws. Jimenez is um, lost for the first time, but he didn't disgrace himself by any means. I had this 116, 112 to Delakian, which is the same as Steve Gray. Um, the two other judges had it 115, 130. I must admit, when I totted up my scorecard at the end of the fight, and I saw 116, 112, I thought, I thought it was closer than that. But a lot of these rounds were difficult to score because Jimenez never stopped coming forward. But Delakian, very much the, the boxing on the back foot, not running by any means, being very, very, uh, firing lots of punches. These are two little guys, of course, which is why I love watching them, because you get lots of action. Uh, and Jimenez just couldn't quite... Even when he got into range, he wasn't winning that many of, of the exchanges. I felt Delakian was boxing well, pot shotting on the back foot, controlling the range beautifully. First round could have gone either way. I gave it to Delakian. But the second round was very telling because for the first half of it, Delakian was on the back foot, hands low. Dimenez was coming in and, he, and Delakian was pot shotting him, pot shotting him. Just, you know, keeping him honest, lots of jabs, boom, boom, boom. And then in the second half of the second round, suddenly Delakian starts going forward. He starts, it's almost as if he was saying, well, hey, all right, now you've, you've, you've come to me. Now I'm going to come to you and we're going to see what happens. And sure enough, Jimenez looked a little bit all at sea in the second round. I'm thinking this could be a shutout. But credit to Jimenez. He was coming forward. He was trying, never stopped trying. Terrific effort. Um, I think I'm right in saying he would have been the first Costa Rican world champ. I can't think of another Costa Rican who's been a world champ. Uh, but he's 30 now, uh, Jimenez, which is not that young for a flyweight, but he's got nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, after 12 consecutive wins, nine by KO, he's now dropped a unanimous decision to a very, very good champion. Um, and I just thought, I think Delakian um, is a very good back foot fighter. Of course, when you, when you talk flyweight, you're immediately thinking, well, how would, how would they get on against um, Sonny Edwards, who's very much the slickster? A lot of people rate Edwards very, very highly, and I know why, because I can see he's got lots of slick skills, and he's very, 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 very difficult to beat, but I'd want to see Edwards tested. I'm not sure Delakian, with his back foot effort, his back foot style, is going to be the man to do that. I would probably pick Sonny to beat Delakian, um, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be easy. I, I, make, I would make Sonny maybe a 55, 45, 60, 40 sort of favourite fellow world champ, of course, Sonny Edwards. Um, but Delakian and, and Edwards would be a good fight. I think Edwards would toy with Jimenez. I don't see Jimenez giving... Uh, I don't see Jimenez giving Edwards any problems. I think Edwards would just outbox him and win virtually every round. Um, but there are, good, there are some great fights at these lighter weights. And uh, this fight was on the undercard of Yard versus Baterbiev. Um did you see it? If so, leave your comments below. I'd be interested to read them. And uh, like the video if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button. We've got, we've got some more boxing later tonight, as you know. So I'm going to be doing some more videos. Look out for them. And as always, thanks for your time. We'll speak again soon. Bye-bye for now.